Uh, I think I did pretty good. Um, you know, just running around, uh, flying to the ball, uh, trying to be in on every single tackle, every single play. Uh, it was just fun getting back into football, um, going out and, and competing is just the thing that I love to do. So it was it was a great experience today. Uh, well, the one thing, yes, coverage is, is going to be a big thing. Um, as you said, you know, the league is changing. It's more pass-friendly now. You know, spread them out, try to get uh, mismatches with linebackers and, and tight ends and slots and things like that. So, you know, I pride myself on cover, coverage. Um, obviously, I was a safety before I played linebacker for the last two years. And, you know, th those skill sets w uh, allowed me to be the type of linebacker that I am today. And, um, you know, when I, when I walk away from this week and walk away from this game, uh, I want the scouts just to know that, you know, I'm a guy who's going to play hard, you know, to, to the whistle, and I'm never going to give up on a play. Uh, I'm going to cover guys, and, and I'm going to be physical. Um, I can use my hands and get off blocks and things like that. So, you know, that's one of the things I'm priding myself on trying to do um, is pass coverage and definitely showing the scouts that I can get off blocks uh, by using my hands and, you know, not just running, running past people because I'm so fast. Yeah, I think uh, for, for the most part, it, it gives me an excellent advantage um, for the sense that I've covered people, you know, for the for three my first three years, all I did was cover people. Um, you know, as a red shirt, uh, I played safety and, you know, I covered a lot of the, the greats uh, like Kenny Britt, um, you know, Taekwon Underwood, uh, Shamar Griggs, you know, those guys who, who went on and played football in the NFL and still are playing now. Um, and then just covering some guys like, you know, Tavon Austin. I mean, you name a guy, you know, from the Big East or, you know, from an out-of-conference uh, schedule that, and I'll, I've covered that guy. So, you know, having that background um, and being able to run to the ball and tackle people and hit people, I think uh, just makes me a little bit different than, uh, you know, most outside linebackers, you know, that play well. Or... What's the one thing that you want scouts to leave here with the impression about you? Uh, great guy off the field. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a father, um, and I love my daughter. She's my heartbeat. Uh, I take care of her, and I do everything that I'm supposed to do as a man. Um, I'm a great leader for my family. Uh, it's 12 of us total, so and I'm the oldest. Um, you know, but beyond that, you know, I'm, I'm somebody who's not going to be a distraction. Um, you know, you know, getting in trouble, DUI, all of that. I, I'm, I'm, I've got a clean background, and you know, I want them to know me as a person off the field. You know, just as well as they know me on the field. So. That's, that's one thing that I think, you know, just from meeting with guys and talking to different teams, they'll know about me um, when it's all said and done leaving here uh, this week. Uh, you mentioned some of the guys that were in the program uh, prior to you at Rutgers and also Coach Shiano was there the majority of your tenure. Have you reached out to any of those guys? Have they reached out to you about the process of making that jump from college to pros and the differences? Did mm -hmm. they talk to you about that? Well, you know, I talked to uh, Joe LaFege and, and, and uh, Devin McCourty on a regular about anything I got going on whether it's, um, you know, the agency process, you know, all-star games, you name it, I've talked to those guys about it. And um, they've been, you know, very, very great, um, you know, influence in my life as far as this whole process because they've went through it and they've, they've did nothing but helped me out um, in the long run. And I appreciate those guys for, th for that and, uh, and definitely, you know, um, owe a lot, of, a lot of what I'm going through now and the, the way I'm prepared for it through, to those guys. Um, Ray Lewis, uh, and and it's that's not a bad one at all. You know, I grew up. I was a Miami fan. Um, just seeing him in the league. Um, you know, Sean Taylor is a guy who I who I love. You know, um, A. Reed. Um, you know, those those Miami guys who went on and played in the league and did so well. Um, you know, were really like you know idols for me. And definitely Ray Lewis. I mean, you see this guy, you know, playing in the Super Bowl in, in a couple of weeks. Um, and just the way he goes about life, um, you know, not just on the field, but off the field, the way he trains, the way he, he stays in shape so he could be the best linebacker year in and year out. It's just it's amazing to see a guy, you know, with, with so much accolades and, and so high of a stature just do what he does on a daily basis. So. Say, say a 
think I know your Super Bowl pick then, right? Yeah, it's safe to say. I, I want to see him get a ring before he goes out. Yep. Think he's going to get it done? I think they will. I think they will. Last question for me. Fill in the blank for me here. The team that drafts the team green, they're going to get a player that? That is, you know, passionate about the game, a hard worker, um, definitely going to bring it every day on and off the field and um, is, is going to just be that guy who's, you know, people will look up to be a leader. Um, you know, I know that I can't just walk in the league and, and expect people to follow me. I have to, you know, earn my respect as well as give it. And uh, that's what I plan on doing. But I, I plan on being that guy who's, you know, a face of a program and, and is that iconic type leader.